So it's no secret that the crypto market has been in the dumpster for the last few months, you know, with Bitcoin going back under 30,000. It's really brought everything down with it. Add to the fact that I've lost, I think, over $200,000, and it's been pretty brutal. However, if you've been sitting on the sidelines waiting to buy in, this could be the perfect buying opportunity, not financial advice. Now, I'm going to go over three of the best crypto apps I would recommend checking out if you wanted to get started right now, and I wanted to kick things off with Uphold. You know, um, I've used a lot of different crypto apps over the years, and Uphold has really upped their game. Uh, they've got staking rewards for different coins now. They've got over 100 plus cryptocurrencies you can buy, sell, and trade. They've also got stock trading on here, which is pretty cool. Now, as I'm going through this list, if you wanted to check any of these apps and exchanges out, I will have some bonus and resource links in the description. Okay, next up, we've got Binance US. Now, I've uh, been using Binance US for a long time. They've got really low trading fees. Typically, I like to move my money in and out of these apps, except for the you know the last one we're going to get into. But you know, for the most part, very easy to use, very user-friendly, and you're going to see that across all three of these. Okay, and then uh, the final one here, we've got Coinbase. Now, I've got a little bit more money in here right now because this is more of a long-term hold account. The other ones, I kind of just trade money in and out of my checking account. But uh, yeah, Coinbase is very easy to use. The downside to it is that the fees are really high, which is a big turnoff for a lot of people. But, you know, they've got the uh, brand recognition for sure. Okay, I wanted to also go over some coins I think would would be good to get into, you know, and hold for the next five to 10 years as some long term crypto investment. So let's check those out. Okay, so I wanted to start things off with the Crypto.com coin, a.k.a. Kronos. Now, the reason I love this coin and think it's a great long-term hold is because if we look at the BNB coin, the Binance coin, it's done really well as an exchange coin. And I think, you know, Kronos is going to do the exact same thing. Now, we're still in the early stages of Crypto.com, but it is the fastest growing crypto exchange in the world. And even though I've got the chart pulled up and you can see for the last month, this coin has tanked terribly, you got to remember the whole market has gone down. You know, Bitcoin has just dragged everything down with it. It is very frustrating. However, if you do own any of the coins I'm already going to be going over in this video, just hold strong. Things are going to rebound eventually. It might just take a little bit longer. But yeah, I think this is a great one to get in right now, especially at the price point. You know, it's hard to ignore it. Okay, next up, we've got the basic attention token. Now, this coin's been around since 2017. It's an advertising coin. You know, uh, another sad drop for this one. It was basically at like 80, 90 cents or a dollar not too long ago. So it's been, you know, cut in half. Uh, this one has a strong use case. It's an Ethereum-based coin. It's connected with the Brave browser. It's been growing its user base year over consecutively. And it's trying to disrupt, you know, Google. Uh, so there, there's a lot of power with this one. I mean, definitely take a look at it. Uh, you know, I own a substantial amount of it. Okay, next up, we've got XRP, guys. XRP, um, you know, another one been terrible. Uh, was it like 80 cents or so about a month ago? Now we're basically back down to 40 cents. Now XRP has been in the top 10 for a very long time. Uh, you know, once the SEC case finishes, which it will at some point, hopefully by the end of the year, it's looking, you know, this coin's going to skyrocket. Uh, if you have some patience and you're not constantly trading or swing trading, this is a great long-term hold. And the price on XRP under 50 cents you really can't go wrong with it. You know, I own quite a bit of it. I'm thinking about buying some more. It's just that, you know, money is tight right now, especially with the market crashing. But I would look at XRP if you don't own any of it. Okay, next up, we've got Decentraland. Uh, another coin that was at five bucks at one point. Now we're back down to around a dollar. Um, you know, I got in at 70 cents. I'd been recommending this coin for over a year before it, you know, did its big skyrocket. But... It's one of those coins that's leading the metaverse, guys. They're partnering with Atari. They got some really cool things going on. Uh, you know, everybody is familiar with the metaverse at this point, but I think that this one's going to do extremely well. You've also got Engine in the Sandbox, which I'm not going to touch on in this video, but, you know, I think Decentraland is a very safe play to get in right now, and the price is just right. All right, last up, I'm going to throw Ethereum in the mix. Super boring, don't get me wrong, but I think everybody should own a little bit of Ethereum just to kind of like balance your portfolio, especially when you're looking at it as like your long-term portfolio. I do have to stress that all these coins I've gone over are long-term holds, so you're not thinking about, 
you know, trading them, you know, in a few months. You want to be holding these for years because honestly, uh, sometimes just holding and being patient is going to give you the best returns. Obviously, you should keep a trading portfolio separate from your long term holds. But honestly, you know, the coins I've recommended here we've got, you know, Kronos, the basic attention token XRP, Decentraland, and Ethereum, I think are going to survive and thrive in the next five to 10 years. So stacking them now at these prices makes a lot of sense, not financial advice. Of course, if you guys want to chime in below, comment, do any of that stuff, feel free to do that. Thanks for watching this one, guys, and we'll see you all in the next crypto video.